Hi guys, so we got another project today. Okay, if you watch very many of our videos, this uh, homemade trailer has been one of our uh, kind of star tools. Um, we use this thing quite a bit, uh, allows us to move lots of materials. And today uh, we're gonna put some sides on this thing and extend its utility a little bit more. When I built this trailer, um, one of the things I wanted to do to extend the utility of it is to be able to put things in these stake pockets on the side. So each side has five pockets and then a rub rail on here for uh, tying things to, uh, not for a legal load, but um, just for utility purposes. So first thing we need to do is take some of these two by fours and cut them into stakes to put into those pockets. And then we'll be adding longer two by fours uh, to build a side assembly.
plan to hook the front of the trailer together with these uh, angle brackets, but I don't know what I was thinking at the time. Instead, I cut some uh, quarter inch bar stock on the back side here and bent it, and I'm going to weld these back together into an angle, and uh, that should give me a much better result. And there's our brackets. They're welded together, sanded off a little bit on the weld side of things to make them look pretty and we'll go make the holes in them so they fit the trailer. Okay, and we got the back assembly built. And then to hold the back end on, we're going to use a couple of these gate hinges and put it together with these quick clips here. And that's going to go on the inside where I had enough uh, material to support these hinges. For this area over the fenders I made these short uh, stakes and I cut out a notch in them here so that they fit back in behind the fender and then I'll just put a lag screw in down there. We found a pair of uh, used ramps they fold up so that will be handy for loading things on the trailer.
So there it is, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And as always, lots more to come. Now we just got to get this tube on there.